Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. In this class we will be seeing design of synchronous mod 6 counter using clogged SR flip flop. The topic is from the sequential logic circuit and the subject name is the digital electronics. Let us start the design. So, we are designing synchronous mod 6 counter. So, first step is to draw the state diagram. Mod 6 counter means it can count 6 states from 0 to 5. After fifth state it will go back to 0. The state diagram is after 0 state it will go to 1, from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, from 5 it will go back to 0. Here the largest number is 5. To represent 5 we need 3 bits that is 101. So, it requires 3 bits. So, the 3 flip flops are required for the design of mod 6 counter and we are using the SR flip flop. So, first step is to design the state diagram. After state diagram we need to know how many flip flops are required and to know the excitation table of SR flip flop. So, how to write the excitation table is between QN and QN plus 1. QN is a present state, QN plus 1 is the next state. So, QN, QN plus 1, 2 variables. So, 4 possible states are there starting from 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For 0, 0, the SR inputs are going to be, for 0, 0, it is going to be 0, x. For 0, 1, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, x, 0. So, it is easy to remember the excitation table 0, x, 1, 0, 0, 1, x, 0. So, we need to note the excitation table to fill the data in the transition table. The transition table comprises of present state, next state and the flip flop inputs. Present state means the flip-flop present output states. So, we need three flip-flops. So, their outputs are going to be QA, QB, QC. Next state is going to be QA, next state is going to be QA plus 1, QB is QB plus 1, QC will be QC, one, QC plus 1. Present state, next state. Flip-flop inputs, we need three flip-flops. So, the inputs are SARA, SBRB, SCRC. The present state is comprising of three variables QA, QB, QC. So, we need to write total eight combinations starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and triple 1. We know the decimal numbers of this binary combination for this it is going to be 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7. So, what is going to be the next state after 0? What is the next state after 0? It is going to be 1 as per the state diagram. So, this is state diagram we know after 0 is going to be 1, 1 after 2, 3, 4, 5 and then back to 0. So, after 0, the next state is going to be 1, 0, 0, 1 and after 1, the next state is 2, 0, 1, 0. After 3, it is going to be 0, double 1. After 3, it is going to be 4, 1, double 0. After 4, it is going to be 5. 1 0 1 after 5 it will go back to 0 and here 6 and 7 state do not exist. So, we write them as do not care. So, after 6 state is not there, 6 is do not care, triple 1 is 7 it is also do not care because they do not exist in the state diagram. Now, we need to write the flip flop inputs to write S A R A we need to look at QA and QA plus 1. It is 0, 0. For 0, 0, what we write? It is 0, x. For 0, 0, 0, x. 0, 0, 0, x. 0, 1. What it is? 1, 0. 1, 
1 for 1 1 it is x 0 1 0 for 1 0 it is going to be 0 1 for 1 x it is a do not care 1 x it will be do not care. Okay. Now, coming to S B R B now compare Q B with Q B plus 1 0 0 0 0 will be 0 x 0 1. So, it will be 1 0 1 1 it will be x 0 how we are filling this based on the excitation table 1 0 for 1 0 it is going to be x 0. 0 0 0 0 means 0 x 0 0 again 0 x 1 x do not care 1 x do not care. Now, we need to fill S C R C. Now, we need to look at the column Q C and Q C plus 1 0 1 for 0 1 it is 1 0. 1 0 for 1 0 it is going to be 0 1 0 1 for 0 1 it is going to be 1 0 1 0 so it is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 x is do not care 1 1 x do not care. So, we have written the columns S A R A S B R B S C R C. So, what is uh, S A? S A is 1 at S A is 1 at 3 and is do not care at 4, 6 and 7, 4, 6 and 7. Okay. So, similarly we can fill this uh, for S A R A and so on. So, after uh, writing the transition table we need to simplify the k maps total 6 k maps one for S A R A one for S A, second one R A, third S B R B and so on like 6 K, K maps we need to solve for S A. So, we know the numbering of the K map. So, I have written the variables here Q A, Q B, Q C, this is 0 1, it is here 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1. And we know the cell numbering this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And where is S A 1? S A is 1 at 3 and is uh, do not care at 4, 6 and 7. After filling 1s and x in the k map for S A, we need to do grouping. So, we form a pair here which is coming to be as. So, what is S A here? So, here it is going to be Q B Q C, Q B Q C. Similarly, we have filled the data for R A. R A is 1 at 5, at 5 and is do not care at 6, 7, and is also do not care at 0, 1, 2, 6 and 7 it is do not care. So, here we can form one pair like this. So, it is going to be 0, 1, 0 means Q B bar, 1 means Q C. So, R A is going to be, what is R A going to be? Q B bar. Q C. Next we need to simplify for S B. So, S B is 1 at 1 
and is do not care at 3, 6 and 7. So, this one grouping is possible here one pair for this pair S B is coming to be as Q A bar and here what is common one is common that is Q C. So, it is coming to be as Q A bar Q C. Now, coming to R B it is 1 at 3 and do not care at 0, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We can make a pair here for this pair the term coming to be as this is 1 1 that is Q B Q C. So, R B is going to be Q B Q C. Okay. Now, coming to the third K, fifth K map that is for S E. For S E it is 1 at 0, 2, 4 and is do not care at 6 and 7. Okay. So, we can make here one quad overlapping like this and for this it is going to be in this two common is 0 that is Q C bar. So, S C is coming to be as Q C bar. Okay. Now, coming to R C it is 1 at it is 1 at 1 3 5 and is do not care at 6 and 7. We can make a quad here. For this quad the term is going to be then this 2 1 is common. So, which is equal to Q B. So, R C is going to be equal to Q B. So, we have saw simplified total 6 K maps one is for S A R A S B R B S C R C. Now, let us draw the logic diagram. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we have taken 3 variables, 3 k ma 3 flip flops. The first flip flop inputs are S A R A, output is Q A Q bar, Q A bar, first flip flop. The second flip flop A inputs are S B R B, outputs are Q B Q B bar, second flip flop. The third flip flop is S C R C outputs are Q C Q C bar and these three are synchronous in nature. So, we have given the same clock like this. So, we have given the same clock it is a positively edge triggered synchronous flip flop a synchronous counter. Okay. What is the name of this synchronous mod 6 counter? synchronous mod 6 counter using SR flip flop. Okay, so, when the same clock is given to all the 3 flip flops we say it as synchronous. So, what should be S A input? S A is Q B Q C. We need to connect one end gate here. like this. What should be the input of it? Q B Q C. The input is Q B Q C. Okay. S A input is Q B Q C. R A R A is equal to Q B bar and Q C. Another end gate given to R A. It is Q B bar, Q B bar Q B bar and Q 
QC like this. So, here the input for this RA is going to be QB bar QC. Now, coming to SB input, it is QA bar QC. QA bar and QC, this is QC. So, we have darkened this to show that we are taking the QC from here and given, giving here. So, it is Q A bar Q C. Now, coming to R B, it is Q B Q C. Q B Q C. So, we will take it from here. This is Q C and uh, Q B. Q B this is Q B. Okay, so, what is this one? Q B Q C. So, here we need to notice when we darken this point it means it is connected there. Okay. Now, coming to S C it is Q C bar. S C is connected to Q C bar. So, here the S is connected to Q C, we have not darkened any point here, this means it is not connected, this is just coming unconnected to Q C bar. R C is equal to Q C, R C is equal to Q C like this. Okay. And we can take the outputs from Q A. Q B and Q C. So, this is a design of synchronous mod 6 counter. S A input is Q B Q C, R A input is Q B bar Q C, S B input is Q A bar Q C and R B is Q B Q C. S C is equal to Q C bar and R C is equal to Q C. So, in this way we have easily designed synchronous mod 6 counter. So, very quickly we can have a brief review. First is state diagram, 3 S R flip flops, transition table comprising of present state, next state flip flop inputs, simplifying K maps and finally, designing the logic diagram. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.